metering mode. Am I supposed to measure something before I take this shot? Hello, DIY techies. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and in this episode of DIY in 5, we'll explain the basics of metering and metering modes and how you can use it for your photography. Remember to subscribe so you can check out our other photography videos. So what is metering? It can be called metering modes, camera metering, exposure metering, or just metering, and it's used to measure the brightness of the subject. It determines what the correct shutter speed and aperture should be. The camera optimizes exposures by adjusting shutter speed, aperture, and ISO sensitivity according to the brightness of the subject. It helps to control the exposure with minimum effort while achieving consistent and accurate exposures. Pretty nifty. Most DSLR cameras have several metering options. There are three main options, and each option works by assigning a relative weighting to different light regions. The default mode for most DSLRs is matrix, or evaluative metering, depending on your brand of camera. What is the matrix? Metering. It divides the entire frame into multiple zones or areas, which are then analyzed based on the light and dark areas. One of the key factors with matrix metering is where you set the camera focus point. After reading information from all the areas, the metering system then looks at where you focused within the frame and marks it as the most important. If you're new to photography, this mode will work perfectly for you since it does a pretty good job of determining the correct exposure. Sometimes using the whole frame to determine the correct exposure is not ideal, say if you're taking a close-up portrait but in a bright surrounding. Center-weighted metering evaluates the light in the middle area of the image and its surroundings but disregards the corners. When using this mode, the subject will be focused correctly but everything else will be overexposed. The last option we'll mention is spot metering. This method only looks at the light around the focus point rather than the middle of the image. It gives you more control over the exposure than any of the other settings, but it's also the most difficult to use. Taking a picture of the moon would be a perfect example to use spot metering, since the moon would take up a small portion of the frame and the sky is completely dark around it, the camera would only identify the light coming from the moon. Some DSLRs are also capable of multi-spot metering, which averages out the light from multiple spots. So what's your biggest lighting question when it comes to cameras? Let us know in the comments below, and maybe we'll address it in a future episode. If you want to learn how to take awesome long exposure photos, check out this other video. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, you've been watching DIY in 5, and happy snapping.